So, does anybody remember Matt Shea? Represent former Washington State Representative Matt Shea. This motherfucker wrote the like wrote a document, like drafted a document on a domestic insurgency slash civil war from the position of a violent Christian extremist um, and published it. This is a former, this guy was a sitting representative when he, when that document was released. Um, and it talks about how, you know, degenerates like myself, you know, a, a gay man, um, and a leftist, these sorts of things, very much Turner diaries, very much Turner diaries for those that you that speak the, the speak extremist, very much Turner diaries. Um, Matt Shea drafted basically a, you know, a declaration of independence style document, but for Christian extremists, uh, white Christian extremists looking to create a uh, racial ethnic paradise in America following a civil war. Um, it was interesting. It had, it had, um, points of, you know, what should be done as far as expropriating goods from infidels such as myself and basically all of my audience, but all of you right now basically would be executed summarily if you didn't uh, submit to the life lifestyle changes that would be required by Shay's perceived, like, organization, right? So... This crazy motherfucker is now, keep in mind, he's an accused domestic terrorist, okay? He's now potentially trafficking ch Ukrainian children. He's been caught in a small Polish town with more than 60 Ukrainian kids trying to facilitate adoptions in America. 62 is the exact number. It's more than 60, right? It's 62. They're claiming that they rescued the kids from an orphanage in Maripol, but international agencies are on the record saying that given the chaos and confusion of war and Shay's presence and the lack of information surrounding the group he says he's representing, um, that they have some valid concerns and the representatives on the ground who have attempted to interview his himself and the representatives of the organization that he represents quote I asked him many times what are you going to do with these children and he told me quote it's not my business in aid to the mayor of the town said of Shay I got the feeling in my gut that something's wrong with this guy he didn't even want to tell me his last name. So... Do they have a gender ratio? You know what? No, I don't. I have no data on the genders of the children, to be perfectly honest. Um, so Matt Shea um, is probably tra into trafficking children now. Allegedly. Allegedly. Let's cover my ass legally, right? Allegedly. Matt Shea, who is an advocate for a race war in America so he can create a purified ethnic state in which they can violently cleanse America of the queers, of the sodomites, of the lesbians, of, of the fucking transgenders, of the atheists, right? Like, that dude who has drafted and published a document with the specifics of how they should go about engaging in that ethnic in that ethnic and like in that genocide um is now in Poland 
attempting to traffic Ukrainian children. Only through some digging did they find out who he actually was. Because as I stated, dude, this motherfucker was sketchy as shit. He didn't want to tell him who he was. He didn't want to tell him who he represented. He didn't want to tell him the name of the organization. This motherfucker was just trying to grab up a whole bunch of Ukrainian kids and export them to America via Poland. This is some sketchy ass shit. This is human trafficking 101 territory, right? So the group, okay, so the group is supposedly called Loving Families. Yeah, Zippy got it. Zippy got it. Way Ukrainian, right? The, the group is called Loving Families and Homes for Orphans. Um... They have a non-functioning website. The group is supposedly based in Fort Worth. It's registered with the Texas Secretary of State in 2018, but no such group is registered as an adoption agency with the Texas Department of Health and Human Services. The group is also not registered with the uh, Intercountry Adoption uh, Accreditation and Maintenance Entity that oversees American agencies uh, involved in international adoptions. So the same, a, a, a group going by the same name. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah uh, 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 fucking Kensai. Um, all, um, all sexual activity, not explicitly for the purposes of uh, procreation is technically sodomy. And you can uh, find that out by going to the Allen Park Inn in, uh, in Tennessee. And it's posted on plaques above your headboard. I'm not kidding you. Anyway, I've been there. Um, so a, a group going by the same name of loving families and homes for orphans, by the way, we remember how Republicans and conservatives, especially in America, like to use Orwellian doublespeak and newspeak and that sort of thing. The fact that like loving families and homes for orphans is a little too on the nose and it's like, yeah, makes me wonder sort of situation. A group by the same name was registered in Florida just one month ago. It's lists its stated purpose as to provide loving and caring homes and families for the orphans from other countries for a short time period. The group was registered by an arena and SIPCO of Palm Coast, Florida, but SIPCO has not been available for comment. Nobody can track down SIPCO or get a comment out of this person that may or may not exist. The mayor of the town in Poland said in a post on Facebook that he'd visited the children. They are safe. They're well cared for. And the case is being actively investigated on the Polish side and clarified by the relevant authorities. They will not be allowed to leave without the consent of Polish authorities at this time. So Shay is not going to get his grubby little creepy hands on these children. Thankfully it has been found out, but the mayor in an email stated, I do not know what Matt Shea and his friends are doing around, uh, doing here around children. His, uh, he and his friends have given us some contradictory information. And for that reason, we find it difficult to trust them. We are in direct contact with the governments of Ukraine and the United States, supported by the highest levels of politicians, international and local church leaders, as well as dozens of companies from Ukraine, the USA and Poland. So the State Department, the U.S. State Department, by the way, has gotten involved on this involved in this one, but they aren't directly responding to requests. Um, A spokesperson warned only accredited adoption service providers are authorized to facilitate intercountry adoptions of children in the United States, which is basically the U.S. State Department's way of saying Matt Shea does not represent an organization that is accredited to do any of this and is attempting to illegally human traffic children out of a war zone. Oh, oh, Saf, Saf, you are about to go down a rabbit hole. If you start going down the Matt Shea rabbit hole, it's insane. It's insane. Uh, Saf, it would also help if you've read the Turner Diaries. If you haven't read the Turner Diaries, probably go read the Turner Diaries. Good luck. It's a terrible book, but it's insane. Then go read about Matt Shea. Because sincerely, like, that that's Turner Diary territory. Uh, Matt Shea shouldn't be allowed around any children unsupervised. I 100% agree. 
Um, <clears throat> let's see if I can find. Um, hold on, let me find his his thing. Is this it? Give me a second. Oh, no, 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 no. I want, hold on. Give me one second. I'll put it on screen. Um, or if anybody else can find it faster than me, fucking let me know. Um, you know what I'm after? Uh, the, the document describing the, the theocratic fucking plans, the, his holy army shit. Um, Uh, the, uh, supposedly the name of the organization is, I want to get it right. There we go. That's, uh, loving homes and families for orphans is supposedly the organization. Um, that he's representing while he's attempting to human traffic children from a war zone. There we go. There we go. Got it. Got it. Got it. Um, all right. Let's, let me, let me show you exactly how insane Matt Shea is. All right. Let's, let's, let's do some shit here. Uh, let's go through this document. <clears throat> Okay, keep in mind, this is former uh, Washington State Representative Matt Shea. He drafted this document. Uh, let's see what we got. This is a quote from the Wikipedia page. In May 2020, Shea was fined uh, 4700 bucks for damaging historic masonry by attempting uh, intentionally leaving a trail of slick olive oil on the steps of the Capitol. According to the Department of Enterprises Service report, the oil stand was about 100 feet long. Yeah, he's weird. He stated he needed to clean the ground off the satanic ritual. Yeah, that sounds about right. All right. Y'all ready? Because this is gonna this is about to get weird. This is like three and a half pages. It's like three and a half pages, large font. This will not take too long to get through, but this will tell you exactly the type of individual that we are talking about and dealing with. Biblical basis for war. One, God is a warrior. Two, when is the time for war? When God says it's time. Prayer council. Three, fight to win so you don't have to fight again. Four. Four things to stay within God's will. Holy cause, holy leader, holy army, and holy camp. Five, four ways to know it's a time to fight. A, God reveals his will to the leader. I love, uh, fucking B, leader inquires of God. Prayer council. C, God puts it in on the hearts of the people. So you just magically start thinking that you're, remember, this was a duly elected representative. God puts it in the hearts of the people. Yeah, you just, you, I know because God put it on my heart. Or th D, God starts the fight. I don't know what that works. Things for a holy war. A, sacrifice, worship, and prayer. B, circumcision slash saved. You got to chop off the tips of the, bo the boy dicks. You got to chop off the, dick, uh, the tips of the baby boy dicks or else they will not be saved. C, vow, consecration to the Lord. D, trumpets and ark. Oh, yeah, folks, this is going to get weird. For those of you who are like, oh, okay, Kai's fucking, you know, he's, he's just an entertainer and he's a streamer and he's fucking like blah, 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 blah. No, this is going to get weird, y'all. This, this shit's fucking insane. E, atonement slash money. You got to give, you got to give, you got to give. It's fucking, you got to get the grift in there, right? We're capitalist after all. We're Christian capitalists. Got to, got to get the fucking money. F, praise to God before, during, and after. Five facts of war. War is a fact of life. God is with us and the battle is his. Numbers are inconsequential. You understand what that means, right? Numbers are inconsequential. You understand what that means, right? Like that's the in the the implication of that is kind of terrifying. Armaments are inconsequential. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We will throw bodies upon the wall if necessary. 
E, Isaiah 57.1, why righteous men are killed. All right. Four qualifications of a warrior. This is recruitment. This is recruitment. Four qualifications of a warrior. 18 years or older, older. B, able-bodied man. C, single-minded in battle. You know what that means too, right? Kill, 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 kill. That's all I'm here for. D, a stable home. You know what a stable home means, right? Okay, so broken house, divorce, black family, person of color, gay family, doesn't matter. It has to be a cisgendered, heteronormative, intact marriage family. And then you are a, a qualified warrior in his eyes. Um, nine, five exemptions from service. A, training family, a new home, right? You just started up a home. You have a newborn child and a, a young wife. You should not go off to war. B, newlyweds, a new wife, right? You are just starting your family. You're not even there yet. That man needs to breed for the good of the cause. He needs to do that. C, farmer. We need the crops, right? Um, an army marches on its stomach. We need farmers. D, scared. Fear means a lack of faith. A fear means a lack of faith. That means you don't have Jesus in your heart if you're afraid of dying a horrible, horrible death, right? Or E, priests. A duty to ministry in the temple. Oh, God has called me in a different way. Tolstoy's head would explode from rage if he saw this. <laughs> uh, yes, and keep in mind, this is a document drafted by a, he was a sitting Washington state representative. Okay. This motherfucker was a sitting state representative and this document was found. Get ready. You thought it was bad. It's going to go from bad to worse. 10 rules of war. Conduct a census of all able body males, 18 to 45. Identify exemptions. See above and appoint captains of tens, fifties, hundreds, and thousands thousands oh 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 there's more pages narrator there's more pages this is gonna get so much worse so much worse b avoid bloodshed if possible they don't plan on that c make an officer of uh, off make an offer of peace okay make an offer of peace before declaring war but wait but wait you're like here's the offer of peace from them right they don't want war i don't want to hurt you you just have to accept our offer of peace well what does that negotiation include not a negotiation or compromise of righteousness must surrender on terms of righteous justice and righteousness you must stop all abortions no same-sex marriage no idolatry or occultism no communism and must obey biblical law straight up sharia law right theocratic regime if you accept these terms and conditions of surrender, then we shall not declare war on you. This is our offer of peace. If they, if they yield, they must then perish, pay a share of work or taxes. If they do not yield, kill all males. You know the implication there, right? What are they doing with the non-males? Yeah. Oh, narrator, that doesn't count. War is, n war is not waged against nations, but against man. Okay? So they're not they're not gonna go scorched earth or Sherman's march to the sea. <laughs> Thanks for the vol either way, you're good for my metrics. Um Cut down only on uh, non-food trees necessary for supplies, safeguard production over politics or retribution. Okay. F, do not attack or kill productive citizens. They are your base of support after the enemy is defeated. Talk about a fucking utilitarian ethno-nationalist. Creepy as shit. Here you go. Law of booty. One half goes to those who fought. One half goes to those who didn't. Divide evenly to the individual. Each gives tribute to the Lord. You tithe to the church and ministry. None to government removes temptation to fight. May use your part to give to those who helped. Commanders receive the same portion. If, if a greater portion, they would have an incentive to fight. So there's, there's the breakdown. 
when they absolutely genocide a region, this is his plan, this is Matt Shea's plan, when they absolutely genocide a region, they will loot that region. Half goes to those who fought, half goes back uh, goes to those back at home. This is the craziest fucking document, I told you that. All right, organizational structure for war. Captains of 5, 10, 50, 100, and 1,000. Five, t a team leader is a corporal. 10, that's a squad leader, a sergeant. 50 is a platoon leader, and that's a lieutenant or a sergeant first class. He's setting up militarized structure for this ethno-nationalist uh, ethno theocratic civil war, right? Fucking 100, company commander, captain slash first sergeant, and 1,000 is a battalion commander, a colonel or a sergeant major. With a small standing army, quick reaction and shell leadership. It looks like he's planning on some uh, some insurgency action. C, only muster in time of war. So no standing armies. 12, I warned you this was going to get crazy. I warned you. And for those that are just walking in wondering where this document came from, this was drafted by, a, a, at the time, a sitting Washington state representative by the name of Matt Shea, who has just been caught attempting to human traffic children out of a war zone. Um, using non-accredited organizations that nobody can track and nobody has any idea of. And he didn't want to give his name to any of the people involved. He attempted to do this as the sketchiest way as possible, right? This motherfucker is creepy. Um, Saf, no worry. Oh, enjoy your date with the girlfriend tomorrow. Um, <laughs> um, stop, uh, stop, uh, um, tomorrow is a late show. So, you know, maybe I'll see you on Friday. Uh, enjoy your date with your girlfriend though. Um, biblical, uh, biblically dealing with tyranny. Hey, tyranny is never divinely appointed means of government. A tyrant is someone who rules without God. Okay. People, 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 people. A tyrant is someone who rules without God. Okay. Tyranny is never a divinely appointed means of government. And then we'll go below it. Tyranny is not a lawful form of government. So what is tyranny? Tyranny is somebody who isn't a theocrat. All forms of governance that aren't theocratic in his eyes are, tyra uh, are tyrannical. But if they're theocratic, if they have a biblical basis, they are by definition non-tyrannical. This is Matt Shea's definitional set that he was working off of. Okay. Quote, godless civil rulers are no more than bands of robbers. St. Augustine. Um, oh, Rev. With a, with a Christian ethno-nationalist who wants to have a civil war and is busy uh, tra human trafficking children out of a war zone? Circular reasoning? When the rule of law dies as sin prevails throughout the land, tyranny is not far behind. Okay? When the rule of law dies as sin prevails throughout the land, tyranny is not far behind. He sees a lack of following biblical tenets as the death of rule of law. A secular society for him is the very definition of a death of sin, a death of the rule of law. What's up, Ancom? Dude, we're in deep at this point. Um, <laughs> yeah, Kenzai, another fallen Mormon. I love you guys. Fallen Mormons are hilarious. Y'all are some of the funniest fuckers. Back in the day when I used to party, dude, fallen Mormons or Jack uh, Jack Mormons or whatever you prefer to call yourselves. Um, dude, y'all fucking partied hard. Uh, y'all got down. Um, Book of Judges minus Sin equals tyranny, right? Um, so let me catch you up. Uh, okay, so Ancom, Matt Shea, do you remember this crazy motherfucker? He's the Washington state representative who, this doc, who drafted this document. This is a document outlining how to organize an ethno-nationalist theocratic uh, insurgency slash civil war and conduct the genocides and lootings thereof, right? He was a sitting Washington state representative when this document was found, right? He has just been caught attempting to human traffic 62 children from Poland that <coughs> are Ukrainian refugees. 
He wouldn't give his name. He works for an organization that isn't accredited and nobody can find the fucking representatives for. It's the sketchiest, sketchiest shit possible. So, yeah. So we're going over the document for those that weren't familiar with Matt Shea to start with. Um, okay, well then, Tech Voodoo, you are a horrible person, and I really don't want you here, frankly. I'm not going to kick you or anything, but I really don't like people who are in favor of genocide, who are in favor of raping and pillaging a land, who are in favor of theocratic states, who are in favor of authoritarian regimes. Really, you can go fuck yourself for, for all I'm concerned. Um, but, you know, you're welcome to your shit opinion. Um, anyway... Oh, uh, excuse me. Um, where is? Oh, why am I looking up? Yeah, you know what? There we go. Um, okay. Why do you think you kill all the males? Homie, seriously. Why... Why do you think you kill all the males as an invading force or an insurgency force? Why do you think you kill all the males and explicitly leave all of the females? What do you think is going to be going on there? Are you that dumb? No, that's going to be rape. That's going to be rape. That's a hundred percent going to be rape. Dude, this is, this is classic warfare. This is historical and contemporary both. We've seen this time and again throughout human history. If you're that naive or that fuck ill-informed as to what that as a military tactic is implying, then homie, go fuck yourself again. Like, this, it's really clear why you do that. It's the same reason that when Oregon constitutionally banned black men from their state, but they allowed a, a, a year-long grace period for the black women to stay, yeah, there's a whole lot of fucking rape that went down. It's a whole lot of fucking rape. So you can go fuck yourself. I'm done talking to losers that uh, that uh, that enjoy rape, murder, and genocide. You can just fuck right off. Nobody gives a shit about you. Nobody likes you. Go fuck yourself. Um, I hope one day you pull your head out of your ass and you stop being a horrible, horrible human being. Um, anyway, so where are we? Anyway, biblically dealing with tyranny. Um. Uh, Book of Judges minus sin equals tyranny. Deuteronomy. Oh, you know what? We should we should be uh, we should be popping these just so we can get the biblical reference, right? Let's let's do the biblical references. Let's do it while we're doing it, right? It's just mm, no, no, no. Yeah, we use Bible Gateway. We use Bible Gateway. All right. Yeah, that works. All right. So Deuteronomy 28 on uh, one ble uh, minus blessings for uh, uh, blessings for obedience. All right. So what is Deuteronomy 28 one? If you fully obey the Lord, your God, and carefully follow all his commands I give you today, the Lord, your God, will set you high above all the nations on earth. This is a literal empirical commandment for uh, for the uh, for this document. Deuteronomy 28:1 is saying if we do this with theocratic approval, if we do this with biblical approval, then we by the very righteous nature of the Bible itself will be granted the highest status of nations on earth. Therefore, any action we take is righteous and just therein. This is a justification for greater militarized action on a global scale. That's what Deuteronomy 28.1 is. Fucking, and let's do curses for disobedience. Fucking Deuteronomy 28.15. Fucking, however, if you do not obey the Lord your God and do not carefully follow all his commands and decrees I am giving you today, all these curses come on you and overtake you. Meaning... If you aren't living up to the theocratic biblical tenets that we have set forth and expect you to, then all of this is on you. You did this to yourself. The genocide, the rape, the murder, the theft, the looting, all of this is on you. It's a great document. It's just absolutely wonderful. Fucking, all right, let's... I'm sure, I'm sure this is definitely... 
Judges 3. These are the nations the Lord left to test all those Israelites who had not experienced any of the wars in Canaan. He did this only to teach warfare to the descendants of the Israelites who had not had previous battle experience. The five rulers of the Philistines, all of the Canaanites, the Sidonians, the Hivites, uh, oh, I can never do the Hivites, Hivites, Hivites. Um, living in the Lebanon mountains from Mount Baal, Hermon to Lebo Hamath. They were all left to test the Israelites to see whether they would obey the Lord's commands, which he had given their ancestors through Moses. Oh, also, the Israelites lived among the Canaanites, Hittites, Amorites, Pezzarites, Hivites, and Jebusites. They took their daughters in marriage and gave their own daughters to their sons and served their gods. They took their daughters in marriage and gave their own daughters to their sons and served their gods. Oh, yeah, there's never, that's not a creepy implication going on after you murder all the males. No, nothing, nothing creepy going on there whatsoever. There is no such thing as rebelling against tyranny. Keep in mind, what is his definitional set of tyranny? Tyranny is any form of government that does not rule without God. Hey, where's my, there's my cursor. Is that, oh, the, um, fucking, uh, yeah, numbers 3118 is the, the virgin clause, right? Save every, uh, save every girl that, uh, save every girl that has never slept with a man or something like that. Yeah. Um, kill all men, boys and non-virgin females, all the virgin little girls keep for sex slaves. Phrase is slightly more honest and direct way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Number, numbers 31, uh, 3118 is, is the, you to save the virgin girls kill everyone else clause. Yeah, it's creepy as fuck. This motherfucker wrote this document, by the way. Again, Washington State Representative, former, thankfully, Representative Matt Shea, but I mean, I suppose it probably would have been better to keep this dumb motherfucker in the in the state representative so he wasn't over in Poland trying to human traffic children. Um, anyway. So, remember, there's no such thing as rebelling against tyranny. So, yeah. And his definitional set of tyranny is kind of specific. And so, Deuteronomy 4.34, God brings his people out of tyranny. Hmm, interesting. So, what is that? Has any God ever tried to take for himself one nation out of another nation by testings, by signs and wonders, by war, by a mighty hand and an outstretched arm, or by great and awesome deeds, like all the things the Lord your God did for you in Egypt before your very eyes? Um... You redeemed a timeout on Tech Voodoo, but his bitch ass left. I mean, you know, good. Uh, don't worry about your points. You'll get them back. You'll get them back. Um. Yeah, when I stopped paying attention to him and just fucking dunked on him and walked away, he just bitched off, right? Um. God doesn't use majorities. The majority is usually wrong. You notice the re the, the renouncement of consensus. Right, the renouncement of consensus by the very definition he uses. The fact of the matter is the fact that you outnumber us means we are right. He's using this to justify the fact that they are a vast minority of psychopaths that just want to rape, pillage, and murder. All right. Hebrews. 11.32, here's a faith that conquered tyrants. And what more shall I say? I do not have time to tell about Gideon, Barak, Samson, Jephthah. Uh, I can never say uh, Jeff, uh, Jeff, uh, Jephthah. Oh, fucking, uh, about David and Samuel and the prophets, right? Like he's literally saying, I don't have time to talk about the heroes of faith. Options. Thanks, mister. Good call. Use of deception. The use of deception. This is, again, this is a Christian, right? <clears throat> Not generally speaking, only very specifically. Two, 
avoiding being an accomplice to sin. Three, you do not owe the truth to someone who you who will abuse it. Do you see the danger in number three? You do not owe the th- truth to someone who you who will abuse it. What is his definitional set of abuse? His definitional set of abuse is somebody who would be secularized, somebody who would be counter-indicated to a theocratic regime, somebody who would be a communist, somebody who would be gay. All of these people would abuse the truth. Therefore, you do not owe them the truth. Give them nothing but lies, and that lie is not a sin. It is in service to God. It is righteous. This is a justification for an invalidation of one of the primary Ten Commandments. This, this is dangerous. Two, avoidance. This does not mean cowardice. Conflict with tyranny. Again, remember our definition of tyranny. Conflict with tyranny also is prevented wickedness from harming property, lives, family, when you don't have the strength or resources to overcome. This is one of my favorites. Three, assassination and sabotage. Assassination to remove tyrants is just, not murder. Remember, this is an insurgency document. This is a document advocating for a white nationalist ethnostate built on a theocratic regime that has an insurgency and guerrilla tactic methodology to overthrow the United States of uh, United States of America, right? Like this is there's he straight up wrote a document that said, yeah, just kill some fuckers, right? Like that's that's how that goes. Oh. See if that actually. All right. To, uh, second Chronicles 20 chapter 23 verse 12. All right? All right? That comes after it. This is assassination and, and sabotage. Okay? When a flyer heard the noise of the people running and cheering the king, she went to them at the temple of the Lord. Okay? Let's do some searching here. Let's let's walk through his process. Who is Diedrich Bonhoeffer? The German Lutheran pastor, theologian, anti-Nazi dissident, and key founding member of the Confessing Church. This motherfucker wanted to kill Hitler. He was accused with a plot to assassinate Hitler. In one stroke, what's up, Ramsey? In one, I showed the photo. In one stroke, um, oh yeah, fucking. In one stroke, what he's done is essentially state that. What's up, Krusty? Uh, in one stroke, what he's essentially done is conflate all standing secularized U.S. politicians with Hitler and then justify violent action upon them. Four, armed resistance in guerrilla war. Considerations before beginning war. Prayer and contemplation. Strength and resources. Ability to go full scale on a long-term basis to win. Not a temporary action based on emotion. Review the declarations of causes and necessity. Reasonable hope of winning. God is on your side. If not, wait. Is God directing? People, I'm not going to go into them. People are tired of tyranny and sin with hearts set on freedom. Or people accustomed to tyranny and don't know who God is, which would be us. Mika, uh, Mika um, patriots who want to serve God, not libertine. All right? And... We're coming into the we're coming into the home stretch. We're coming into the home stretch. I know it's been long. I know it's been insane. <coughs> but we're coming into the home stretch. 13. Warrior priests. A, a living sacrifice. You do know what that means, right? B, intercession through prayer and action. Oh, and then the bullet misses. It's fucking stupid. C, Adam was told to tend and guard, right? Like that's literally a, 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 a biblical tenet. It's a commandment from God. It's a direct command from God that you are to tend and guard, right? Warrior equals guardianship, right? A warrior isn't just someone who defends and fights. A warrior is someone who has control over, right? Think guardianship, right? Think a shepherd, think a parent, right? It is paternalistic in nature. He is assigning a paternalistic nature to the warrior role for him, uh, for uh, for his little um, jaunt 
here. Oh, Jesus Christ. There we go. Oh, for fuck's sake. Just do that. There we go. Um, all right. So we got Second Chronicles 23, eight, uh, uh, chapter 23, verses 8 to 9. Armed guards and weapons in the tabernacle, right? Uh, the Levites and all of the men of uh, Judah did just as the Je uh, Jehoiada, uh, the priest, uh, ordered. I, sorry, I'm not going to do it correctly. Each one took his men, those who were going on duty on the Sabbath and those who were going off duty, for uh, for the priest had not released any of the divisions. And then I think, um, let's see, prayer, humility, wisdom, courage, and protection. Fucking, and you know what? Not even going to do the fucking, I'm not even going to pull them. Draw near to God and purge double-mindedness. Double-mindedness for a Christian theocrat of this nature, double-mindedness is doubt. Double-mindedness is somebody who can sit back and say, wait, I have, uh, <laughs> that's an odd way to pr pr uh, pronounce junta, uh, junta, sorry, it's junta, um, fucking draw, uh, purge double-mindedness. Yeah, any doubt, purge any doubt. Not doing the right thing is a sin. So if you don't remember what we're talking about here, we are talking about a violent overthrow of the United States government and targeted assassinations on part of a white ethno-nationalist theocratic guerrilla army. If you don't do this, you are condemned in the eyes of God. Prepare your horse for battle, but the battle is the Lord's. Freedom is in Jesus Christ. Where the Spirit of God is, there is liberty. I know that was a bit of a slog. Thank you for making, uh, making it all the way through it with me. That is the document that was drafted by Matt Shea when he was a, a, state, a state representative in Washington State in the United States. Right? This mother, this crazy motherfucker is now over in Poland trying to steal kids. That adds a greater context, right? It, it's, it's not just a former disgraced Republican representative from the state of Washington who may be human trafficking children out of a war zone. It's the dude who wrote that document is in Poland attempting to human traffic children out of a war zone, which is cause for even greater concern. That's, that's cause for so much greater concern. It's insane. Uh, 20 bucks. He's a part of, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Beast. He is, he is, he's, he's associated. He's not just a part of, he's associated with multiple, uh, uh multiple, uh, militias in the region. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, he knows like Amon, Amon Bundy and that sort of shit. Like he knows him. Yeah. No, it's, it's not even like, yeah, like you, you'd be, I wouldn't take that bet because I already know like, yeah, your money would be coming in. He's associated with multiple violent militias in the region. Um, Christian dominionist. Uh, I have a three part series actually narrator that I did. Uh, and it culminates in dominionism. Uh, it starts off with how to piss off Jesus, which tells the tale of the cleansing of the temple, which is my favorite Bible passage. Hi, my name's Kai. I'm an ordained minister and have been for 20 years now. Um, and, um, so it, I, it tells the tale of the cleansing of the temple. Um, and I explain some of the, the nuances of it and some of the context of it and some of the ramifications of it as an interpretable uh, piece of theology. Um, and then it moves on to the, um, the deal with the devil that was made between the, uh, S Southern Baptists and the Republican party under the, uh, during the Reagan campaign. And then I move into RJ Rush Dooney and, uh, the dominionists and how they actually have a much larger hold on this system of governance than you are aware of. Um, I know you just got accredited with 51. Uh, I have to work on the variable set, um, but here, uh, 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 nope, sorry, wrong one. I just did a s fucking s uh, snappy. Thanks for that last sub, by the way. Um, here, I will correct that raid before you go. Uh, uh, Namiki Show, thank you for the raid. How did you guys do? We are just covering some crazy fuckers, uh, typical news crazy fuckers, Christian nationalist, ethno nationalist, theocratic, uh, you know, Sharia law wanting motherfuckers. How was your stream? What did you guys talk about? Are you well? Um, let's see. Uh, ba -da -ba. 
Let's see. Um, -da -ba -ba. Are they just into the Ratcher narrative too? Oh, guaranteed. Guaranteed. Um, <clears throat> so, yes, doubt is the serpent taking over your mind, Rev. Um, how many kids does he have now? Is he just starting to collect kids or does he have a little army already? Um, he does not have an army unto himself, Zippy, but what he does have um, is multiple uh, he is associated with multiple white nationalist militias of the region um, and also some non-white nationalists he's okay with compromising on the race thing he will not compromise on the biblical thing um, it seems that he's okay if there's like some you know some coloreds in, in the group what there can't be is queers and you know degenerates and secularists and that sort of thing he is an absolute hardliner on the theocratic issue so, um, but yeah, he's associated with a whole bunch of fucking right-wing militias throughout that, uh, throughout the Northwest region. So probably a few, um, but none under his direct control that I'm aware of, but definitely within the sphere of influence. Um, all you need is a couple of quiverful types and you have uh, an army within 16 years. Yeah. For those of you who don't know the quiverful reference, I think everybody should know the quiverful reference, but if you don't know the quiverful reference, it's a, a quiver. The, the holding uh, the holding container for arrows that an archer draws draws from a full quiver meaning a quiver literally packed full of arrows the arrows are the weapons of God so a quiver full uh, movement is basically Christians they're they're Christians um, who advocate for a heavy breeding cycle basically it is fucking Duggar style right the Duggars are quiver full types um, so there you go for those of you who don't know the quiver full reference. <clears throat> 